Jacob Zuma is the coolest president ever. I love that guy. The most rock and roll president for the most rock and roll country in the world. Going there, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell us anymore, we know now, yeah. You know? We're a country of first, and we don't, we don't look at our blessings in this country. We love to complain. Oh, the corruption, and, and you know, and the crime, and all of this. We don't even look at when crime does go down. We don't celebrate. Oh, but that's not enough. And you know, Zuma does something good, like actually firing people who don't work. Oh, but that's not enough. You should fire them all. And you know, we just go, and we get crazy about it. We complain. We don't look at the natural blessings that God has given us. Like, you know, we got a bloodless revolution that we went through, which was amazing. I still, to this day, am proud of that. The fact that we don't get any natural disasters in this country, do we? No, no, no earthquakes, no tsunamis, no, no typhoons or hurricanes or none of that. We get none of that. But I bet there's still some idiot out there going, that's how behind we are. We don't even get natural disasters like the rest of the world, Africa. We're the coolest country in the world. Only country in the world that has 11 official languages. Only country, it's a testament to who we are. Only country that has multiple languages in their national anthem. Imagine that, no one else can claim that, hmm? which is amazing. Shows how diverse we are. Also means we're the only country in the world where 99% of the population doesn't know what their anthem means. But still, <laughs> oh you laugh, but it's true, we don't. We don't, like no one here, 99% of the population does not know what the anthem means. You see it when you watch people when they sing, when they try to sing it. You see it in their eyes, let me show you. Like you said, that was a guilty look. White guy here was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people. And it's not, it's not easy, it's not easy. The languages aren't easy, you know? Do you know what it means, sir? Do you know what it means? God bless Africa, yes, that's right. And then the next part, what does that mean? <laughs> see, I love that young white guy, he's got nose, he's like, no, I don't know actually. Eh? Old guys are touchy. They're like, of course I know what it means. BJ, God, God bless Africa. Yeah. You're like, and the next part? Yeah, God bless Africa. <laughs> and the next part? Ah, bless it some more, buddy. <laughs> they sing it, but you don't know what it means. You know, it's simple in the beginning. Kosi Sigelele Africa. Ah, oh, everyone knows that bit. It gets a bit harder, you know. Malupaganyesu Bonodwayo. I think it's very difficult in the second verse for some. Yeah, it gets quiet just like that. <laughs> people don't know what's going on. And yet you sing. I've seen white people sing the anthem. It's always fun to watch. You don't sing it. You just like mumble through it. Hoping no one will notice. You start off very confident though. Come out there. Dun, 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 dun. Kosi Sigeleli Africa Manishu Mbunwayo Ndindintan Bajin Kosi Sigelela Tina Leswap Mnanun Kandin Chambam yeah, have you noticed how the volume always goes up there? Always. It's almost like someone standing behind the country with a huge volume knob. Ah! Always, especially at rugby games, I've noticed this. The volume always goes up at that point. Because before that, all these Afrikaans guys aren't singing along. They just act like they've dropped their bucky keys. Those crafty Dutchmen. <laughs> I've watched them. Song will start, everyone will be there. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we jo jo. Si cha ba sha. Yes, you come on, Freddy. Si cha ba sha. Cornelius, on song now. South Africa, South Africa. Then they lose their minds. I do blow fun on Yeah, and the fun on Who like a Steve? Ever. Lose their minds. The whole beginning bit, no one knew what they were singing. I don't understand. And some people, some people have learned it phonetically, which I commend you on, but you still don't understand what the song is about. Like the rugby team, they were forced to learn it, and they have learned it, but they still don't know what it means. You'll see them when they sing, because Saru forced them. 
South African Rugby Union, they came out and they said, it is a disgrace <laughs> to see a national team that does not even know how to sing their national anthem. <laughs> if you want to play rugby for your country, you must learn the words. She said, no, but we don't, we don't speak, we don't speak. Hey, do you want to play rugby? Yes, then learn the words. Okay. <laughs> and they learn them, and they show you they've learned them, you know? Because when the camera comes over them, if you look at Bafana Bafana, they're the most chilled out guys in the world when they sing the anthem. They do a million things at once. Shirts are there, they're all chilled out. They're there, camera coming in there. <laughs> These guys are chilled. The rugby guys show you that they've learned. The camera will come on Bucky's and Victor and all of them. They'll be there. More They're not holding each other. They're holding each other back. But they still don't know what the song means. Which is very dangerous in my opinion. It really is. Because you're singing a song. It's not just a song. It's an anthem. It's a pledge. It's a promise. You put your hand on your heart. And you're promising something, but you don't know what that promise is. It's very dangerous. For all you know, the whole song could be about killing you. <laughs> you laugh, but you've seen how happy black people get when they sing. <laughs> huh? How do you know while you mumbling, what we actually singing is, when Mandela dies, we're going to kill them. Oh, we're going to kill you. Oh, we kill you. Yeah, you laugh. But if you listen carefully, there's a part in the song where they go, yes, you, and then we're on South Africa. <laughs> but you don't know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can win cool prizes. And by prizes, I mean surprise. There's no prizes. It's a free YouTube video, you greedy. Just click the video, man. Why you want free things on free things?